I, unfortunately, I have made a very... I did not make any mistakes. I made zero mistakes. Uh, police director Yanis Ogorin will have to confess about the stuff I have stated just as he is... don't like to use the police investigator because it's a criminal who met me at on June the 21st of 2024 in the following in the following the next video I am going to be talking to you about exactly what took place in English language at a police station on June the 21st uh, it peeved me enough let's put it this way for me to postpone a visit to the police office for an entire two weeks I investigated who interrogated tried to create physical confrontation at the police station on June the 21st of 2024. Everything I have stated so far in respect to Ogolin, everything, all the officers, is absolutely fact. They lied a whole lot. I stated in some cases, which I'm about correct right now, whatever they had ability to demonstrate me reality was under MK Ultra. In other words, they have abused other people that gave me the real accounts about themselves. The corrections I'm going to make in this, in this video here is what I have posted a few minutes after I posted the video about Jana Zogulin, about where he lived, Everything is totally 100% correct. There is just few issues I'm going to correct in respect to this video. So the only thing that's going to happen is here, the MKH about the police director, Yanis Ogolin, the only thing I'm going to put is going to be an update is going to be here. It's going to be written update and it's going to be written under the July 5th, 2024. I'm going to date one. I'm going to put this video right about this stuff. Everything, however, stated, written on this page, stated in the video, is exactly what they wanted me to see things as when they had me drugged up during MK Ultra. And what exactly? This here is what I am about to upgrade. This here, in my opinion, is just as I stated right on the bottom. This guy is a trained liar. And I'm going to explain to you absolutely everything about why and how, lie, who, what, how. So it's going to be a little bit upgraded, a little bit better on the top of the truth. And nothing is better than original account about the people involved in MK Ultra. So when it comes to police director, ex-police director of Novo Mesto, I am going to take time and I'm going to take time even more so for the investigator who was involved in crime against me on June the 21st, 2024. Let's take date and time here. July 5. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, no more. It's now July 6. It's right at midnight. So this video is going to be right after midnight. I like that. Let's go. First, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the investigator. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is the investigator. Here, this is what I think have happened in reality, but the account I am giving you right now is because I think I remember this individual when he attended a grammar school Gurm, Osnona Shola Gurm. Maybe I have seen one even during GERM, or maybe I have not, I have no idea. Maybe I did, maybe I did not. He stated me that I have seen him and this and that during MK Ultra. I don't really recall him, but so that you're not going to think that I got some kind of information from anybody, the second, the first, in, the investigator, Therefore, ununiformed, without the uniform, investigator who presented himself as a police officer at the police station on June 21st, 2024. In his youth, this individual, I believe, 
was a very skinny guy actually very skinny guy when compared to now and <laughs> here is where most of the people would go totally wrong about it he's not fat this is the thing this guy is athletically built he is like uh, something like this I would say uh, maybe not quite like this but he is athletically built so what you see right there is an individual that you would never give that at one point in time in his life he was skinny but this guy was actually really skinny uh, all the way to the college through the high school uh, this was just one skinny guy really skinny guy yeah and I think he is about the same age as I am and I am 52 years old I believe that he finished his university probably what I anticipate maybe in 1993 which changes things so drastically about and I'm gonna to explain to you exactly what went on no worries about it uh, became a police officer I'm pretty sure sometimes in 1994 as early as in 1994 I also believe that he's got a younger brother whom he had used to confuse further on issues about his age about what he was doing etc 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 his brother however looked very different than he is than he does uh, I think it's actually like blonde or something like that. I'm not really sure about it. His facial features uh, and body and everything, I think it more kind of a matches beer grills. Let me see what bear grills looks like. Yeah, it would be something between bear grills and Zuckerberg, something like this. You know? Um, and his younger brother whom I believe he also has now this is the stuff I'm not supposed to even know the stuff I'm talking about I'm talking about I went to the earliest stages of MKUltra when this guy was involved I don't remember one from the real time uh, he mentioned to me that he had seen me but when I saw him during MKUltra I could not put him on a picture absolutely anywhere uh, as he claimed me that he attended grammar school uh, I could not find him absolutely anywhere in the pit so this is, these are the changes I'm going to make because I have made claims that this individual uh, became a police officer like in 2000 and stuff like that I think I was terribly wrong and here I'm going to also analyze why I even more believe that I was wrong about it I think that to his house that you would just follow this trail here all the way something like this and then there will be a house one of these houses here that would uh, that would be the house where he was that he is from which one of these houses I do not know I do not know maybe 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 this house um, I really do not know I would not know which house would that be this is what I think he is from one of these houses here uh, it says here 17 Adamicheva Ulica. So, how much of a job I have done it, I do not know. Uh, I'm going to see one more time what exactly have I done now. Have I actually hit on the spot this guy or did not? Um, I think I actually did I think this could be his house here okay 
he does have a younger brother like I stated and his younger brother however was the one that would go and finish graduate something like this like after 2000 or something like that if he graduated or whatever I'm not really sure so this will be about the investigator so what the fuck went so wrong about this stuff but this is a professional liar I mean let me explain what kind of liar is this what kind of business this is this guy uh, Yana Zogorin was the one I am just gonna get the fuck out of here I, I don't feel going through the streets I don't even want to see them really and I'm gonna go right back to where I made turn to this area which was just you see this is the Adamic of a ulica and this is a Smrečnik of a ulica this is where I came in 19 why do I think that this is what it is is because in 1998 it was Jana Zogorin uh, this is a director of Novo Mesto police again ex-director this is this individual here this is this clown here this is a really murderous clown he blamed it on uh, ex directors and his supervisors when I asked him in 98 what the fuck went on in 97 in 98 he did no longer allow me to interact with this guy at all uh, and this individual this police investigator was involved in they would deliver me from apartment to apartment from one building to another and throughout all the buildings, throughout all apartments, they were engaged in a torture. All this area, including the houses, from house to house, from apartment to apartment, from apartment building to apartment building. This here was the center. This is a Mercator store. This is where entire gang from the area would be meeting. entire city was involved in torture uh, but this area here goes really to distance because here too they had this Serbian Yugoslav police military officers stationed not too far from our house from apartment to apartment from building to building you have no fucking idea what went on here during Yugoslavia when there was still Yugoslavia I am a quite a miracle uh, to be actually alive and this was individual who inherited this area and have enforced next to uniformed police officers what I stated to you right now from door to door from door to door in 97 it became evident that this guy wants me dead he was the one whom director his boss had used to supervise also this investigator uh, other police officers that ran this crime in this area and it, it was just a tremendous he had a tremendous fights here with me right in this area and have in front of him dictated money in front of me dictated one that he doesn't want anymore to come in touch with me and also demanded from him to start to pose inside of this apartment buildings everywhere and so it was with his family they started to set up locations where they would keep him inside exactly where they torture me throughout all these buildings they, this family started to appear in some apartment uh, his father etc 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 um, his brother if I recall this correctly I don't think he actually went to university this guy I think he has a private service or something like, like this I'm not really sure this would be in that case this this will be a house then this here they must have a private uh, he must have a private uh, his brother I think he's got a private company service or whatever whatever they are doing 
and is blonde, contrary to his brother, to what I demonstrated you. Okay, this is about the police investigator. How the fuck would I know this stuff? No fucking way I possibly would know. There is no way you can possibly know this. You, There is no fucking way you can know. Even if you know, there is no way you possibly could possibly know this stuff. There is no way. This was nothing other than trauma, a top of the trauma from one apartment building, from one apartment to the other apartment, from one apartment building to other apartment building throughout this area. This was nothing other than trauma. I am a miracle, a human miracle, when it comes to degree of abuse and torture I took. Nobody came anywhere. When it comes to trauma and stuff, nobody came even to 0.00000 thousand times 1%, 1% to what I have. This is hell they did that is unprecedented, unimaginable. And it was straight from Ljubljana, Robert Golop, Slovenian Prime Minister Robert Golop, Yeah, this is a Robert Golob. Um, he would come from Ljubljana for this recruits. He was recruiting for Milan Kuchan. And then he would be like a broker. He would start to broker absolutely everything. Their private apartments, their private houses stay in Ljubljana where during the time when they would go to university. He would take care of the stipendiums and stuff like that. He would just make sure that as a recruiter, he would recruit certain people, certain certain agenda from every part of the country because Kuchan needed Baron Kuchan, uh, Milan Kuchan, the king of Slovenia, yeah? Slovenski Kral King, Slovenian King Milan Kuchan wanted to control through entire Slovenia. All the police departments, home for elderly hospitals and have his recruiters like Gregor Golovic, Yes, he created an entire young generation of the people. Shkoyč. Uh, had this guy here. Uh, and you had... You have a whole bunch of them. Lawyers they became. Etc, etc, etc. They started to cover entire space in Slovenia. I recruit younger people, make sure, and those that, those would replace them. They would again do the same thing. Would recruit young young people, and Yugoslavia basically became impenetrable in Slovenia. Uh, greater Serbian states started to grow up again out of fucking nowhere. I mean, nobody wanted one. People voted out, but they started to grow like mushroom after the remake after the rain. So this will resolve the dilemma about the police. If I go according to the police brainwash, I had no fucking chance to identify who this fucking guy is. Okay? This order from this guy was, do not tell him anything. I mean, this guy would scream. If I would ask questions, no fucking question. Beginning in 1997, there was a law that came out that this guy distributed to everybody and enforced. You do not tell this guy anything about yourself, who you are, and so on and so forth. It was a law. You get it? They signed the law. Milan Kuchan signed into the law. He had to follow directly from his police directors and so on, and he enforced one brutally. So this is who this criminal was. And in everything I have stated about this criminal, about his karate classes, and about his absolutely everything, and more than anything about the crime, this here in this video, how, which I'm about to repeat you once I do, once I translate what took place from Slovenian into English on June the 21st at the local police station. 
this is fucking it. This police investigator warned me about my connecting incident which was to take place sometimes in the future with the British Royals which took place. <laughs> he claimed me if you're going to connect the British Royals with this you're never going to solve the case. You're dead. I mean they covered one another and did nothing other than engage in trauma into violence. Alright, so it was at least in 97, in 98, in 99, in 2000 that I would come across this guy. This guy was an ultra violent thug. He demanded from the police. He, he went after the police making sure there is a violence. This guy here, this is Yanis Ogurin, for one thing. Now, who the fuck is this guy here? Next to what I stated here in this video here, which I just demonstrated you, and this is what I'm going to insist, this is what I'm going to use to squeeze him. I'm going to try to just fix one issue in respect to this video, because that's all the fuck I know. And out of that, there is nothing I can do about it. Because this is a chameleon. For one thing, this guy is a liar. This is a pathological liar. The same as was the case with the Peter Kapsch, with the psychiatrist Peter Kapsch. He changed locations. He lied about, ungoingly, about different locations. Absolutely did not want me to know who he was, where he was, etc., where he was coming from. Would not answer the questions when I would ask. Absolutely would not answer the question. According to him, if he tells you one time, this is enough, you're supposed to remember. So the only thing in this video that I will fix is this here. I think it would be here. This is again Gotnavas. We go back here to where my sister used to live. This is the brother from her ex-husband right there. And bloody hell, I do not know. Um, they were making an impression that he is from this house, which I kind of find it weird because there was some guy with a red hair that used to live there. Uh, I find this very, very difficult. But this man supposed to be a neighbor here. It's very, very difficult. I would have to go over. It's going to take me time. I'm sure I'm going to figure out as I go house by house, street by street. But this is not what I'm going to do now. I'm preparing something different and this is a correction I need to do so that I would not be fucked. This is a Gotnavas and this is what supposedly he is coming from. Uh, one of these houses here, neighbors of these people here. Which house is it? I do not know. Um, I didn't bother to, to even travel the street here. And it's, a, it's very, very difficult. It's very, very difficult. He posed also in this house, I think, or that one right there. Very, very difficult. I would have to go a little in time. This is very, very difficult. We are talking about here when it comes to timing, time, being drugged up, subjected to MK Ultra, and go back in time, probably... Well... You know, I don't bloody know, like 1985 maybe, you know what the fuck is this? You're talking about 40 years back, 40, 40 years back in time for me to analyze which house exactly he is coming from. But this is supposed to be awfully close to the ex husband of my sister 
whose name was Branislav Golob. This is a father from my niece, Urshka Golob. Married to a Weber. Uh, when I go this here, this is her uncle here, this guy. Yeah, all good. But again, I'm going to say which of these houses supposedly belongs to Ogulin, a neighbor, I do not know. Hell, I do not know. Uh, it was... They pointed me out this house um, they pointed me out for that one which I don't think it is and they also pointed me out for this two houses here this and this this two houses here this here one of this as a matter of fact I don't know torture went on in every fucking house he was the one who enforced the torture personally in this area so, how easy is this for me to identify this guy? Very, very difficult, if not impossible, just like that. Based on MK Ultra, uh, he also posted in this house and this house. Uh, based on MK Ultra memory, he had some kids also at home, which I think were his brothers or something like that. So, Jana Zogulin likely also has a brothers. It's like a, it, was, it was like a gang when I remember that stuff. Yeah, and this was like, if you ever come in this street, we kill you and this and that. Not what the fuck you would expect from the police director, would you? If, you, if I cast my vote, it would be either this house here, or it would be either that house right there that Ogulin is from. So, this is, what is this? Ulica Ivana Roba, I would say Ulica Ivana Roba 24, uh, or I would say this here. Okay? What about the area that I told you about in this video here, how he moved next door to, uh, to, the, to my... Uh, where my sister and her husband, Brane Golob, uh, moved to in Shmihel. Um, the thing is that he had me delivered there. He had me delivered there. There was some blonde guy he was using, a police officer, who was trying to confuse me and fuck me up. This is called Shmihel, this area that I demonstrated you. But I don't think he is there. I don't think he lives. I think that what I demonstrated you right there, I think that is what it is. I think what I demonstrated you is exactly the correct location. I think that's exactly what it is. You know what I mean? But when he's going to face the police interrogation, lie detector tests, that's why this is just an upgrade of the video. This is an upgrade of the video. And this is the upgrade of the claim I also made five minutes after I released the video yesterday. That's what this is. To make myself, do you understand me what I'm saying? He's going to have to answer the questions also in respect to this Schmichel location for which I suggested you yesterday he, he moved to that he is from. So what I told you yesterday about this location here, which is in Schmichel, most likely is not the truth. And I'm going to demonstrate you what likely the truth is about this stuff. This is so fucked up. This is a psychopath liar. This is a professional liar, a psychopath maniac. <laughs> uh, very, very unlikely would you get the truth served on the plate from him stuff that i stressed you about is the earliest impressions about the police investigator who interrogated who tried to create incident 
He was just a bully. He was just a harasser. This was just an intimidator, a criminal, typical, looking out for a violent crime that he would use other police officers to get me arrested and so on. Book me basically in the jail. Save this criminal here that you see, if only possible. Um, it's not likely this guy would give any kind of true... Uh, what I demonstrated you right there, when I came there, he started to yell and scream, why the fuck do you bring him here? What I demonstrated you over there, the uncle uh, from my niece, uh, therefore brother from, brother from Brana. whose name is Matyash Golov. This is the guy that you have seen with a shirt, with a red shirt, and with this, what he indicated me, it's from the Josip Bros the shirt. Okay? <laughs> um, no fucking way would I get the truth from this guy. So, pay the number, 14 Optesh Kivadi, as I move here down this street here. Let me see this to make sure that I don't fly too far away too fast uh, let's make sure that I know where the hell I'm heading to um, this is hell I have to go out again with this stuff here and let's do it like this and we're gonna go again a lot of streets I don't go through here and uh, so I have to pay attention to where exactly I'm heading here. I never went here anywhere even close for I don't know how long. Probably last maybe 30 years or something. I was never here in this area. You know what that is? That's bloody long. I was never in this area since uh, 95. For sure. So you're talking about 5 and 30 years. For sure 30 years I was not in the area. So this is what I'm about to again demonstrate you is okay, if I get lucky, okay, there you go. House from the ex from the niece father from the niece, Branislav Golob, you see him right there. This would be his house. My sister moved out. I understand. Uh, she no longer could take uh, but well I'm not going to give any kind of comments on it I don't understand in the first place why she she even started something like this but whatever um, I told you yesterday about the two locations he, because he posted God this is very difficult this is a gang. You know what the gang is? It's a gang. And in this case, Tolpa. Eh? Tolpa, gangster, Tolpa. Eh? Uh, always a police officer or two. Police officer investigator, probably. And then you have what you would say, homies, a criminals from the area that would guide you from the house to house. And you would have a police officer watching this from the distance. And you would have also an investigator, maybe even two, three, four, maybe more police officers in the area engaging in a terror also. Talking to people and stuff like this. Uh, inciting in crime, in violence. It's a gang. It's a type of gang crime. You know what I mean? Tolpa. Tolpe. Organizerani criminal. Organized crime, basically, is what this is. So... This, that this would be his house, where he post, I doubt it. I sincerely doubt it. I do not know. Uh, this is the stuff he's going to have to answer. These are the questions he's going to have to answer. It doesn't matter. Um, a blonde police officer, a blonde police officer whom he have used, that's an interesting one. A blonde police officer, I'm not so damn sure about, you know, but I think it's one of these two houses, you know. I would say a blonde police officer could be 
is from this house here. Uh, there is a, some blonde police officer, but I think it's uniformed police officer. Uh, and he was the one who was doing this kind of stuff to make me feel that it, this is his neighbor, actually. I think it's a blonde police officer whom Ogolin have used. This is very, very tough brainwash. Uh, they wake you up at 3 o'clock in the morning. Not wake you up, but traumatize you. 4 o'clock in the morning, you have to watch family, how they are dressing up, ready for the work and stuff like this. It's a fucking trauma. It's a fucking trauma. And they make you believe 100%. You know what I mean? That he is right there, next door, and this and that. On other occasions, they bring you to his door. They make impression like, you know... This is it, you know. Ogolin claimed he is from one of these houses here. House which I demonstrated you earlier. And also what would be this house here, something like this in that sense. Very, very con con uh, convincing in his lies. Uh, he fortified his lies by suggesting me, you know, that he is, uh, that that's all he needs is a house, uh, not too big, whatever, but just house for him and his family that he prefers this way and so on and so forth. So how much of this is true here? We're going to find out from Ogolin, who's going to answer the questions on why he was misleading why he ran such a high degree of crime here, why was he so much into it that uh, well, he was convincing me that he got married to uh, some blonde lady from here and this and that. I'm not bloody sure about it. Uh, to correct this video here, I'm going to reiterate, I'm going to repeat, I think Yanis Ogolin, director, ex-director of Novo Mesto Police, is just as I indicated earlier from Gotnavas, the house I also demonstrated you uh, most likely is the one. This is part of the city here, and so that's the way I I solve this problem. And the rest we will find out about this criminal who this guy actually is. Uh, where exactly he is ahead and so on. Gotnavas, Ulisa, Ienaroba, we go here, and we go here, and in his case, the most, uh, the most when it comes to mind, what this house is here. This house here, this is what it was, they had some younger man here, um, it looked like he has brothers or something like that. I, I'm not sure. Uh, and he was trying to also make impression on me with this house here. This is what he was trying to make an impression on me. So, uh, if you ask me about which one of these houses here, uh, I would... I would say this one here, and most likely these are his relatives. I think in this street there's a lot of relatives. So we're going to stick with the Gotnavas. What is this? Ulitsa uh, Ivanaroba 24. That's what we're going to give to uh, ex director, this clown here, Yana Sogolin, and the rest. He's going to report to us exactly what he meant by this, about all this bestiality he performed on me, what he meant by the neighbors about where he lives and his death threats about I'm going to come to his street and stuff like that. That's the stuff that Mr. Ogolin is going to... He, 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 he got retired, but I'm going to summon him for you, for me, for the world to see, back at the police to report about to answer some questions in respect to this extermination procedure he enforced for the Milan Kuchan, uh, for this prominent Slovenian barons, communist kings. You know, they were communists and they are kings, absolute kings. Uh, so, 
I'm, I, I do, I barely can wait to step on their toes and squeeze the fuck out of them to learn about absolutely everything, what they meant, all that stuff. I can't wait. I can't wait to do this. I can't wait to meet these people in person. Thank you very much for watching this video. I would say pray not to meet me, but you will meet me 100%. Here is the time and date.